despite the fact that I had a f had experienced a few slight diffi technical difficulties due to this uh, VPN issue I've been having that my OS isn't letting me hook up through a VPN I mean it could be that an update had broke something because I'd hate to connect through the v uh, through the deep web like this the only thing I can think of is after I'm done browsing the deep web through this current setup I have which is highly not recommended to do due to the security implementations and the fact that certain websites can can see what you're using and can track you down and if that really is the case then I think I'm gonna have to nuke my hard drive like I do this once then I have to completely wipe it clean we are going to start the, the deep web in the most dangerous way possible here we go here we go hopefully this works yep here we go we got it all right now we are going to enter our first website n2 conspiracy we were asked by casper bowen former director of the uk foundation for information policy FIPR how our social mix net strategy protects us if an adversary is capable of taking over the entire secure share network then tries to read into communications between you and me oh man it sounds like uh, someone's trying to target these these uh, groups here but let me let me read on here Frequently, the problem with scientific work is that you have to learn the vocabulary rather than the work being actually so hard to grasp. In this case, N1 can roughly be translated as imagine, all the other ones being in a conspiracy against you. Well, I mean, that's uh... That's quite that's quite something there. But yeah, let, let me let me continue reading on here. So it says here, we did indeed think about this issue long before the Snowden revelations, letting us know how much this is factually reality. It affects anonymous privacy networks harder than social ones. When you are participating in Tor, I2P, or regular Good new net, you just see traffic flowing. You don't know if it's real traffic or just sharks pretending everything is working fine and actually just wanting for you to submit your secrets. Which, that's actually, that's actually a very scary thought. Imagine somebody within a network, so, like, like a middleman, seeing exactly what's being sent from one end to another. So, if this, uh, this were to be to be like a like an undercover uh, proxy like let's say uh, um, an FBI honeypot yeah they could potentially know what you've been up to and and what you're looking through and uh, that is going to be a very very bad thing especially if you're doing something that you're not allowed to do regardless of where you're from and how you are attending to to obtain this information so let's uh let me see what else we got here this is a, there's a there's, there's quite some read here so it says here in social networks such as DRAC or secure share you are already participating the moment you open up your dashboard you see messages from your real friends talking about the weather Sharks would have a harder time imitating your friend's chatting style. So when you submit your secrets, you at least know your friends still exist. Unless you have no one to talk to. And those friends are just people you met over the internet. <coughs> Somebody I know. <coughs> so. You are not in a matrix and reality isn't just a simulation. A risk remains that all of their nodes have been taken over, but that scenario cannot be solved by any software at all. 
the fact that those N1 nodes need to be in their personal devices to actually put you in danger is a great advance advantage over a system that an attacker could entirely simulate for you. Like I said, somebody tries to pretend they're that other person and try to replicate their their typing style, kind of like uh, deception, you know, like pretending to be someone you're not. Which, uh, if you are sp to, you know, send some very sensitive information, like let's say your password, the location you want to meet up at, or or let's say who did who, you know, you know, very very sensitive stuff. Very sensitive things that you wouldn't even want to let your own family know about. Then, yeah. Yeah, that that would really be a really big issue. So this is what this, so this is what they're, what they're trying to say here. If you, if you get what I mean. So right here is, now, man, there's quite a read here. I'm not, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, skip a few things here. See what else uh, is going on. There's so much here. We let's, we're gonna check this out. See what see what kind of cocaine they're selling. Oh no, they you have to be logged in in order to even view th the market. Yeah, this is, looks like we won't be able to check out. But I really don't want to make an account, so we're gonna have to skip that part. All right, we got diamonds for sale. 2.21 carat. 2.21 carat. Okay, it says diamond 2.21 carat. We got James Allen's. To review a copy of the cer certificate, please contact our 24 seven customer service. Okay, the market price, $30,000. <laughs> Does anybody have that kind of money to actually buy a diamond? But their prices? $9.99.99 Or just $9,999 <laughs> This is like my this is like my entire life savings on a piece of precious rock. We got R yeah, Agarna Gartha Agar ah, can't, can't even like seriously I cannot speak oh my goodness so much for the background noise but anyways we'll just say this so we're here at the underground oasis and we another one of these you have to be logged in yeah, I had to make an account, so we're gonna have to avoid this one. Apparently, this website here is offering quality cards and translation Western unions and moneygrams. Oh boy, we're gonna check out some counterfeits here. <laughs> All right, man, let's do this. Let's uh, let's go see what it, what it says. So it's so here they're saying the price and about work. New prepaid card on your name and last name. How it works. We are glad to present our product to you. Together with Security Labs, we found several holes in a system in the system. And since we don't want to pay for what we found holes, we offer you to make money with us. All our cards come with pins and instructions. You can use them at any ATM worldwide. Okay. Okay, quick PSA. Don't do this. Don't don't attempt to order cards from these guys. <laughs> you are going to have the FBI right behind you if you ever attempt to do something like this. Just a quick disclaimer. I I I have to I have to address this. So so yeah. Anyways, moving on. Let's see what is what what else they said here. You you can let's see. Where's your bird? Okay, we will email you a full guide on how to cash out safely. Important note: please don't place an order if you can't pay, and we should send you a 
credit card or make a transfer for free and after that you will pay us we don't do that <laughs> well of course they, they really want the money it's all about wanting that money first <coughs> scam <coughs> so yeah if you need to convert USD to Bitcoin or another currency, your, 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 buddy, you really gotta fix this. You, you, you use the wrong word. It's supposed to be you without the R. But anyways, you can use HTTP market. Yeah. Business insider. Yeah. Well, that's just for something else. Anyways, let's see what else. For your convenience, we have opened a direct Bitcoin wallet to you as little as possible to experience problems with payments. Uh, again, again, don't, don't, don't do this. Don't, don't, don't give them a single dollar. Just, just save your money for something else. Um, I don't know. I mean, buy something that's worthwhile. You, you're probably going to have a better time buying, uh, buying, uh, you know, donating your money to something than, than giving it to these guys. So yeah, total sale, buy two card, card, you mean two card, uh, wouldn't it be cards as in more than one card? I would think so. And one for free. <laughs> Another one of these buy one, get one free schemes. Some way to sell your services. I, w I want to buy two for 260 and one free. Don't we all love free stuff? <clears throat> There's a catch to that. You basically have to give them something only so they never give it back. All right, here's a website here that this is a private computer system. It is for authorized use only. Users authorized or unauthorized have no explicit or implicit expectations of privacy. Any or all users of this system and all files on this system may be intercepted and monitored, recorded, copy, audit, inspected, disclosed to authorized sites and law enforcement personnel, as well as... Uh, authorizing officials of other agencies both domestic and foreign by using this system the user consent such as in inception monitoring recording copy auditing inspection and disclosure at the discreet of authorized site personnel unauthorized or improper use of this system may result in administrative displicit actions and civil and criminal penalties by continuing to use the system you indicate your awareness of consent of these terms and conditions of use log off immediately if you do not agree with this condition stated in this warning <laughs> you know what just i'm just going to exit out riot cat dot org attention do spam bots the xmpp registration is closed for now oh they must have a lot of, of spam accounts so here we go riotcat.org friendly jabber cloud and email let's see services etherpad Etherpad allows you to edit documents collaboratively in real time, much like a live multiplayer editor that runs in your browser. Oh nice, you can actually do a collaborative editing, which is which is uh which is quite something. If if you're if you're writing an article but you need two people to to make write them together, then there's that. Oh, and this actually leads me to uh to a clearnet website. So this actually means exiting out of the out of the clearnet for that. And of course there's Nextcloud. Nextcloud is an open source self-hosted file sync and share app platform. Access and sync files, contacts, calendars and bookmarks across your devices. What would this be doing here on the on the on, on the deep web? If anything, this is something you can actually get from from the normal internet 
Jeez, I, I guess a lot of this is just uh, it's just email encryption services. A lot of this you can actually get on on the normal internet. So yeah, if you're looking for a email client or or wanna ha uh, wanna host one, then yeah, Riotcat.org may might be the service for you. And that sort of thing. So if you need something like this, there you have it. I mean, there's not much else I can say about this. So we'll just move on to the next website. A Brotherhood offering premium commercial services to dark web users. Oh boy, we found a, we found another one of these serial killer websites. All right. Apparently, they do Western Unions and PayPal. Uh yeah. Actually, never mind. This is actually this is actually a similar website as the other one we saw. I thought it was going to be like a criminal organization, but no, they're just selling, you know, this stuff. Like I said, they 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 sell like 1500 at the cost of 450. Like like I said, this is just another one of these that are to do that are too good to be true. So now this one they do bank transfers. For all I know, these probably aren't even real. Six hundred dollars just to get a fifteen hundred dollar transfer. <laughs> yeah, like I said earlier, this is illegal. This is very, very illegal. This is even more illegal to buy a a a, a passport off the deep web. Yeah, this is very, very wrong. More of this crap here. Fully registered visa. Okay, so they do visas. Original school certificates. Get your documents within 72 to 120 hours. Payments are made in Bitcoin. Registered dip diploma costs $400. Jeez, to fake a uh, education? Yeah. Yeah, that, that would probably not go. Alright, well... This is just one, this is just an example of what they're selling, which, like I said, guys, don't do this. Don't, don't, don't fake a, a school certificate or even get a fake registered visa. Don't, don't, just, just, just do the right thing. If you really need a visa or need to get a hold of something like that, make sure you you sign in the paperwork and if there are some different requirements based on where you're from then yeah just fulfill those requirements yeah it's gonna take a while and probably gonna be a lot of work and a lot of money to get to to get something like this which which understandably i could see why they would want to do something like this but it is better to have a legit uh, you know forum than to buy then to fake your way into getting to one country or another because if you get caught with something like this believe me you're not you're you're probably gonna you're probably won't even have the chance to even enter the country right way welcome to the vanetti mob network on the deep web biggest providers Provider for murder and kidnapping services since 2017. All right, guys. This is this is one of these uh, these websites where they have uh, serial killers and and kidnappings, just like uh, just like those that claim that they'll do something like this. Which, of course, basically more criminal stuff. So let's see what else they have going. This hidden service is used as a middleman between customers and contractors. Click on services above to view a full list of services we can provide to you. New! We have just added a new convenient way for users to watch their multi-sing escrow payments right on the website. Like I said, more illegal stuff. Which, of course, they have the option to do escrow payments, which I can see that. And, of course, they say, we work with your budget, unlike what competitors offer at a fixed price. You, you mean, 
letting you know what I mean making people fall for this obvious scam yeah you're you're you're, you're not gonna get what you want for all I know this is most likely a honey pot oh boy they're they're most likely going they're gonna make bank doing this the crooked way so again don't do any of this stuff I'm just demonstrating that this is what they do so again just 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 don't and of course other services basically you got this uh, this option to tell them what you want to do want them to do so got some methods in mind that is not listed above let us know especially what you want done and we will let you know if it's possible well you can tell them anything either they will deliver what what they have what services they're offering you or they just flat out ghost you and you'll never you'll never hear from them or your money so yeah no thanks i rather keep my money and I'd rather not go to jail for something like this so so yeah basically this wraps it up man I'm man that's quite a that's, that's quite a few websites here and there okay we have uh, checked out a few sites here like we we saw we saw a conspiracy about N1. We saw we saw a few carding services like they're selling Western Union, PayPal, credit cards, counterfeits, passports, and visas. We also saw some broken websites and a website that is that you're not allowed to access and is being monitored. For all we know, that's most likely a honeypot, which I'm so glad I didn't further on, or it could already be too late and I have to nuke my computer. But yeah, I mean, let's say this pilot didn't exactly go as as uh, as planned, but this is just something to to go with and a brief and a brief preview on what browsing the deep web would be like. So yeah, if so yeah, I mean, this is just what we got here just the basics so so yeah this is this is it for now till then this is LR7 logging out Three. Okay. Are you streaming me right now, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. That's where I'm at. Oh yeah. Perfect. <laughs>